Hey there, welcome to 42 Pursuit. Today we're gonna to be making a debris separator that cleans landscape rocks that look like this and makes them look like this. Let's do it. So we've recently moved into a new home and the previous owners completely let the landscaping go. So all of the rocks around the house are full of pine needles and leaves. And usually that's quite a pain to get them all clean and looking nice again. But previously I figured out that using my dust collector from my wood shop and a cyclone separator, that I was able to suck up the debris and leave all the rocks intact, which really sped up the process. I can't do that now because it's now bolted to the wall and it was kind of a pain to drag around the yard. So today I'm gonna to be building a separator that fits on top of a regular sized trash can that can be easily moved to where you need it. In order to build this, we're gonna need a few things. A trash can, a board that can fit entirely over the top of the trash can, a blower. Now you can pick these up at Harbor Freight for about $110 with the coupon. Or if you keep an eye on your local Craigslist or Marketplace, you can often get these for less than half of new price. You also need a dust collection hose, two right angle fittings, some weather stripping foam tape, some sort of caulk, and a few tools, namely a jigsaw and a router. Uh, links in the description below for all of these things. The first step in this process is to cut a groove so the top edge of the trash can can fit inside of it and get a really good seal. Then we're gonna cut a hole for this elbow fitting to fit up underneath inside of that groove, which we wanna leave enough room for the, the pipe to fit on top, but we want it as close to the edge as possible because we also want to attach this. We're gonna remove all of this frame. We're gonna attach this blower with the inlet valve facing down as close to the center as possible. So we're gonna have this at the center, this underneath outside of that with the pipe coming out of it, and then there'll be a recessed groove underneath that will go on top of the trash can. Now you can cut the groove for the trash can with a circle cutting jig and your router. There's plenty of YouTube videos, so I'll let you look those up. And the two holes you can cut out with a jigsaw. Now I'm gonna cheat and use my CNC machine because it's there and it's quicker and that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go. All right, now with everything assembled, this should make a lot more sense. So the inlet here, being the 90 degree elbow, forces the debris against the edge of the trash can in a circular manner where it loses its inertia and falls to the bottom. Then the mostly clean air ends up getting sucked up the center and out the outlet. Now this should be, from what I've read, about a 95% or greater efficiency system, meaning the airborne debris that gets ejected from this should be less than 5%, which I'm okay with. As far as I'm concerned, it will just get blown into the grass and be essentially fertilizer at that point. One other thing I wanted to mention is these wires. This should work just set down on the board, but to make it easier when emptying the trash can, I thought it'd be best to fasten these down. So I just took some pieces of wire, screwed them down to the board, and then wrapped them around these screws in the blower to fasten those together. All right, let's see this in action. So I made the incorrect assumption that the rocks sloped up to the tree. <laughs> that is not true. Actually, there's such a thick layer of pine needles that it's about probably eight inches thick at the highest points. So to save some time, I'm gonna just scoop that out with a shovel until we get closer to the rocks and then go back to the separator.
three hours later. Here's the finished product. All in all, it was about eight 55 gallon trash bags full of yard debris. When doing this, I noticed there was sort of two steps to the process. The first one was getting the light and easy stuff off the top, first scooping it and then vacuuming it. And then I would actually use the right angle attachment to sort of scrape through the rocks and agitate the pine needles that had fallen down inside. And I think it came out quite well. It took a couple hours to do, but now that it's done, I think every summer I'll just give it a once over real quick, suck up the, the dry pine needles that are sitting on top from the previous year, and it should keep things looking in tip top shape. Once you're done cleaning up all of your landscape rocks, this separator also works well in a wood shop. If you have a planer or a jointer or a table saw or some such sawdust making device, this can separate all of the big chips out before they go into your filtering device. And you will need a filter after this because since you're gonna be inside, you don't wanna be breathing all of the small particles that don't get trapped in the trash can. So find a good filter for yourself and put it to work in your wood shop. I hope this helps some of you clean up your landscaping or it gives you an idea for something else you can use this separator device for. Thanks for watching.